Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a BTS OT7 binder update. Uh, you guys voted on my Instagram for this just to be a video of me vibing with the PCs and just putting them away. Gonna start at this binder and work our way back. Got exactly an hour, so let's do it. So we have a fair amount of stuff to go in. We have this pile and this pile. So get your snacks and get your drinks. Going to start at Korean albums. And the first one that I have to put away is a School Love Fair Special Edition, which is this last one, which is K. QT. Gorgeous. And because I'm not double collecting JK, I actually took a photocopy of his PC in order to fill this spot. It's like clearly, clearly a photocopy. See, it's just like paper and pretty low quality. So yeah, it's just gonna be a filler to put in. You can buy unofficial cards on Wish if you wanna put some fillers in, if you're kind of like me, where you like put one member in a different binder. But I didn't want to buy the entire set just for that one card. So there it is, complete page, all done, clearly a fake. <laughs> uh, so I'm just missing Yungi here, which is on the way. And while I was at it, I did make an unofficial one for another card. I still haven't made any progress on this. So this is the fake one I made. Uh, no progress because the prices are very expensive. So yeah, and higher priority stuff. So if I see them, I'll just grab them eventually. Uh, next up is the last Persona postcard, which is Jin, which my Secret Santa sent me, which is very exciting. So thank you, Secret Santa. Jin is here. Very nice. So yeah, we are done for Persona. Ta-da! Very cool. And while I made those other fillers, I made some fillers for other pages that didn't have anything in them yet, like this page. This was in, I don't remember where this was, miscellaneous, but I moved it here because it's still in like the B concept and it's got B on the back. Whether or not I put it in like a nine pocket page, because these do fit B size cards. Well, I'll decide that later. But, oh, that's coming later. But I made these two fillers from a spare uh, B album that I had. So this is from the book, like the behind the scenes book. So I'm just gonna put these in. Because JK's in the other binder. So I put him as a little stay, stay thing. And then this is actually from the pajamas. Do I wanna put that on the front or on the back? I could put it on the back. I should go that way. Okay. Like that. Which I think looks okay. <laughs> it could look better. I wish that I had cut these so that they were facing like the way the cards and the lines on the back run the same way. Like these go this way and they go that way. So maybe I'll remake them, but for now I'll just leave it. Oh, yeah, the B's facing the right way. Okay, that's okay. Uh, next is a little filler that I made for Japan. I swear this entire video is not just fillers. It will go into cards. So because I'm not double collecting JK here. I made this filler. I literally made it just by photocopying his photo cards. Obviously like I'm not gonna like sell them or anything. Don't do that and sell them. That's dodgy AF. But yeah, just to fill out the page and make it look more cohesive, I wanted to do that. And then these are actually like wish cards, but because I own the, the official version, I'm using them as fillers. Drop this one in here. Goodbye, cute Tay Tay. Yeah. Three fillers now. Awesome. This is one of my favorite sets. So cute. And then I also made this one. I feel like I should show you the paper. It's like really low quality. See that? It's so low quality. And I just stuck them together with uh, double-sided tape. I didn't use glue because I felt like the glue would uh, wrinkle. So yeah, double-sided tape and just my low quality printer. Yep. And then I'm just gonna, oh, do I wanna cover Hobie? I'll 
cover Yungi at the top because I'm feeling a very soft spot for Hovi at the moment. I did like the MB MB thingy, the personality test thingy, and people on Instagram currently are like testing it against other members. So I did that, and J Hope's my perfect match. I was like, J Hope! <laughs> I reckon he would be my best friend if we knew each other like personally. So hey, tell me. But the others were like, you do not match. I was like, okay. <laughs> um, next up are these postcards. And I want to do a poll. So I'll set this up first and then I'll explain the poll because I'm very confused about how I want to actually display these. So I've got the bigger uh, eight, four pocket pages. So the really big ones. Uh, which I'll link down below and then I'm going to put Jin up here so I still display these so that it's like a two page spread but I'm confused about how I want to how I want to do it J-Hop I keep stuffing up that's the first page. Oh, <laughs> Jimmy needs to go down here to show you what. What have I already stuffed this up? I already stuffed it up. I stuffed it up. <laughs> I gotta redo it. Hang on. That's better. Okay. So the first idea with setting this up is like that, so that when you turn it on the side, it's like dun 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 dun, which I did actually set this up like that straight off the bat, but then this was the other way that I was thinking of setting them up, which is the normal way that I do, which is to have still age order, but it goes like that. So that's how I normally set up postcards. But then I asked a couple of my friends, like collecting friends, not in real life friends, but in real life friends from care, they were like, I don't know um, whether or not I should set them up like this, which is how I normally do. So I'm going to comment down below and just like the comment. So if you agree with number one, like the comment of number one, because I think I, I think I like number one better, but then it mucks up like how I normally do the postcards if they're not facing this way or like the comment number two if you like the setup of number two better and then whichever one wins i'll set these postcards postcards up like that like this the other option is like to do jin yoongi j-hope rm jimin tay jk group so then it's like two line spread but that's just too confusing when I already have two options. Yeah, so like the comment of which one you think that I should set it up like. Because I'm thinking this one, but then it doesn't match everything else that I've ever done. I don't know, but that's it, that's it for this. These look absolutely stunning. Yeah, the set. Wow, Jimin. Yeah, so let's move on to the next binder. Yay. I'm actually going to do this one next, which is Blu-ray DVD inclusions. DVD Blu-ray inclusions. Uh, skipping back. Oh, these still slide out. I should really like put them in sleeves and tape them down. Oh, <laughs> uh, getting an extra one for this here. But I'm going here because there is an empty spot and I photocopied this postcard. <laughs> So yeah, this is a photocopy of it. As you can see, again, not as good quality. Um, so I'm gonna put it up here as a filler. Or I could put these in like a three pocket page. I haven't even tried that. I mean, they would face the right way if we did that. But let's just leave it like that for now because I photocopied it, so. Hey guys, Tamworth is desperate for staff. I'm not going to Tamworth. <laughs> that was my work. Today's my day off, finally. 
I worked uh, seven days in a row. So, I mean, that's not that bad. This is what I was talking about, the normal spread that I do. So I normally do it like that and then put a, like the, because JK is in the other binder, I put these here. So whether or not I change it to be like going across that way instead, don't know, just many thoughts. Uh, next up is, oh, I was gifted from my friend Liz this uh, REM PC, which I'm going to put, so it's actually part of this set, but I have a space here, so I'm gonna put it there. I mean, that's Map of the Soul, but I have a space, so it's just gonna go there. Cutie. And then I'm going to just pretend that I'm not going to collect any more RM tour pieces. <laughs> uh, I filled in these spots with cards. So that's good. Going here and I normally do make an OT7 set of uh, every type of tour card. So I was going to collect all of Tay's PCs, but I've run out of things to trade. So I may, I mean, like I could purchase them, but for now I'm just gonna put in the OT7 set that I have going. So I have a gin. I have a Yungi, a J-Hope, a Jimin, and a JK. So they were left over from all my trades, so I made sure that I still had one of everyone. I said I still need a Namjoon and a group, and I would like to maybe trade these to a white back version, or trade all of these to a version that has a background. Maybe to a white back, because these have a background. Yeah, but I'm never gonna let go of this, this Tay. He's so cute with his guitar. So yeah, um, that's Permission to Dance coming along. Uh, here, I have this little card to go in. Oh, I don't think I've unboxed this. You'll see why I have that card in a later video. And he's just gonna go there to fill in the spot, so yeah. Actually, I think I have another version of uh, this muster to go in here, 222, 222, two, 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 two. oh no, that's 229, oh. so 17.520, I'm going to have another version to go here, so then it's all green, so I don't actually know what's going to happen to that cute Tay, I'm going to keep him, <laughs> hoard him. And next is what I've been working on, which is the Bung Bung Con message cards, so let's rearrange this, Jin will stay there, oh no, he's got a, he's got a, um, flip, so I will have to take them all out. Someone said, like, did this spread, and I just absolutely adored it. That's what made me think to finally finish collecting these because I didn't end up finishing the, the postcards, the photo set photo postcards. I didn't finish these, even though they're so beautiful. So Jin set, so I have them all here. It's too difficult to put in that way. I'll just pretend it this way. So it's going to be set up like it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Again, across like a two page spread that you open up on. So like it does have this on this side, which looks okay. It was just like such kind of like an easy set to collect because there seems to be like a lot of spares of them in the world. Oh, I need to double back these. So on the back of that would be RM. Or would it? Yeah, RM. And then next to that would be, oh, I don't have RM2. Yeah, <laughs> he is on the way though. 
Uh, Jimin would be on the back of Yunki. Which is kind of a shame because I really like seeing their messages on the gold cards. Uh, then it would be J Hope 3, 4, 2, 3 on here. And then four, Jimin two. I know two would be over the other side, so it would be Jimin three. three on the bottom of Yunji. Yunmin. Like that. Is that correct? Yes. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, someone slipped under. Oh, Jimin two. Two. Four, Tae one, two, three, and number four. So close, so close. Do we like it? I mean, I posted the wish list on my Instagram and I completed it within an hour. So thank you everybody who, who's like messaged me about uh, buying them. Thank you. It looks so cool. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I think that's it for this binder. Again, this has been just transformed into like a one, a one page thing, even though I own all the cards. I've kept all the, all the cards. Wow, the last binder is going to have a lot then. Wow, this is legit going to have so much. Last binder. Uh, it's already pretty full, so let's see how this turns out with everything else in it. So season's greetings. Finally, we get to complete this page. Actually, my friend uh, Vanessa V has found little sleeves that these fit in. So I think I'm gonna purchase them. What are we thinking about the, uh, the announce more tour dates for PTD? Las Vegas, Las Vegas. King move right before Grammys and they hired out the Grammys venue to do the live play. That's so cool. Okay, so that's, that's done. But I really, really hope that they announce more places in the world. I looked up their tickets to fly to Las Vegas. Wow. I mean, it was only $700 each way, which Australian dollars, which I suppose is okay for an international flight, but I'll just hope that they come like to an Asian country that I can go to that's a bit closer or come to Australia. But they haven't been here since 2017, so we don't have high hopes for that. Uh, I do have a spare JK coming, so I'm just missing JK from 2018. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get that in order to complete this page, but wow, this looks so cool, doesn't it? They're really nice. And then I might do something like Nyan Nyan Yungi, where she puts little fiddles down here saying the year. So yeah, that's so exciting. But these ones are pink, so yeah, let's move on. Uh, and they're gonna have postcards. Postcards? No, <laughs> I'm just looking at postcards. They're going to have uh, lucky drawers at the concert as well. It's just at the moment says from the live place, so I'm hoping that it opens up to be maybe if you purchase an album there as well, like last time. But I hope that they don't do this for every single venue that they eventually go to with PTD because wow. <laughs> they haven't announced anything for Seoul, so I don't know whether or not they'll have anything for that. I feel like Seoul might be a bit easier to get the, the cards on resale. 
because that's a bit closer to, to Japan and I feel like a couple more might into the Japan market for that. I don't know, I just feel a bit burnt out with Lucky Draws being venue specific. Like for the stores in Korea and for like Las Vegas, Los Angeles. I think I got very lucky with Los Angeles. So if anyone goes to Las Vegas and would like to attempt to get me a JK, hit me up. <laughs> uh, there's that set. This is only a filler. Uh, like, with, like with the little ID photos, I am getting an extra JK to fill out the page because... I mean, the season's greeting, so it was pretty cheap to get like a, another set of JKs to make the page look cohesive and whole. And this set is just absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that, that's one of their best sets that they've ever done, I think. As well as soup, which I'm gonna put in there a little bit. What else has happened? Uh, oh my gosh, Nyokyo. <laughs> Nyokyo doesn't take uh, Makari orders anymore. <laughs> I mean, I saw it pretty early on. And then America woke up <laughs> and America was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> so every single post was like, what am I going to do? So maybe in my next shop with me, I'm going to be using a different service. What, let me know what services everyone else is going to be using. I feel like I'm asking a lot of questions in this video. Uh, so there's like Japonica, there's Hoyoyo. there's Bai, which I feel like I want to use Bai. There's From Japan. I mean, I would use Bayi because I feel it's a little bit cheaper now than what it was in terms of shipping. They do still have a lot of fees though. Um, but the big downside to Bayi for me is that they don't update like the new stuff like as they're added onto Makari. So it's like you hit new, new, new releases, new additions to the website and it's just the same for 24 hours and I remember when I used to use buy I used to go on there at 2 a.m. in the morning because that's when they used to update it which is uh 12 midnight Korean standard time or well Japanese time I mean they're on the same time I'm gonna put that there and make some fillers still but I, I like the set that I bought of JK also comes with a JK postcard so I'm gonna make just one filler for this but yeah that's that's that. Again, still doing the same order that I used to do, whether or not I change it. So yeah, two, sp two page spread, really nice. My sleeves actually don't fit these postcards. They're a little bit like a little tiny bit wider, the sleeves that I use, so which is kind of a shame. So I'm gonna have to work something out that. I need to fill it here. Uh, I forgot to put these in my last OT7 binder update. But they are these PCs. These are, wow. These are really nice. I wish that they had done these for the uh, the actual membership. Because I didn't get the membership this time because I didn't really like the, oh no, the sh I liked it. But the shipping kind of really turned me off of it. So yeah, I mean, like I could have sent it to a K ID. But I mean, I mean the PCs are just such odd sizes for it. But I was just like, nah. <laughs> I'm keeping all of these because they are so stunning. And I made these fillers for it. So it came with a magnet and the magnet's really, really thick and bulky. So I literally just photocopied the magnet because I really wanted the images in my binder. And then I just photocopied the back of Jimin and V's, but I actually stuck them on the wrong ones. So you'll see when I turn this over, they should be that way, but they're that way, so oh. So yeah, they're my fillers for it. Ta da! And like I didn't have to change the sizings of this or anything, that is legit the size of the magnet. I literally just cut around it, so yeah, it worked out pretty, pretty nice. And there's the back. The pink's slightly different hue, but uh, you can really see it on camera, but to the naked eye, to not the naked eye, just to the eye, it, it looks exactly the same. But as I said, Jimin V, Jimin V, I should have stuck them the opposite way. But yeah, I really want them to do something else with this color. It's such a nice color. It's such a, a nice purplish pink. So yeah, that's, that's that set. I absolutely love it. Oh. Uh, and I made another filler. Oh, these are now in Love Me Sleeve Me sleeves. They're all sparkly. Oh, can you see it? There they are. They're all in little snowflake sleeves. 
but I accidentally bought the wrong size so these ones are like uh, wider and these ones are thinner so these so they're like these ones are tight and tiny hollow it's like damn I'm gonna have to order more from love me save me but I should really finish off this page I need J-Hope and Jimin and then I'm gonna have to make some more fillers and I'll probably just photocopy JK's again because I'm not buying his again <laughs> I would buy, I would buy the, like, double collect the member if he was a cheaper member. Uh, next up, oh, this filler. Again, photocopy. Really low quality photocopy. But far away, looks absolutely fine. I maybe should have put in a group picture. I might change it to a group picture instead of just being double JK. Yeah, that's that and then I just put the postcard set a, a little official sticker there. I've seen Taybun Jenny put these in a nine pocket and they look so nice in the nine pockets so I may be changing this as well uh, but I made some fillers also for these out of the spare postcards and I was thinking about I did originally have them facing that way with the white on the top but it looks just like kind of a bit too glaring so I turn them around and I kind of like it kind of and then this is just from the actual uh, like the, the cassette case Oop. so I'll put that on the back If you do plan on doing this, it might be a better idea to use these colored postcards, these two, but I just have them, or even the white one, I just have them on the backs of these at the moment, but if you do, yeah, it might look better if you use the blue, the blue in there, it might complement it a bit better, but I'm happy with that. Uh, lots of massive four pocket pages here. I finally got around to working out what I'm doing with these. These are from the Fact Music Book, uh, the first, the first one, because <laughs> I just had them sitting in my room for so long. Uh, I did uh, cut these up. I posted it on my Instagram story and I got a fair amount of questions about it, about how I made them fit, because they don't, where's an example of one? So uh, they don't fit in uh, these pockets, so, what they do now, but they only just don't fit in. So if you do plan on doing this, you have got to do something daring and it probably means that it will devalue the card if you do this. I mean, if these ever become really rare or really sought after in the future, which I kind of doubt it because I feel like a lot of people have these cards. Uh, yeah, just be aware that you are probably devaluing it by doing what I have done. Also, it is probably not a good idea to do if you plan on selling the card in the future because people will not want a postcard that is not the size that it should be, especially if they're trying to match the ones that they already have. But if you don't do this, then it has to be in like a two pocket page that way because they don't fit in anything else. They don't fit in the three pockets either because the three pockets are too narrow. So I don't really know why they made them just slightly too wide, but this is the amount that you have to cut off to do this. This much. Is this the exact same card? Oh my gosh, did I literally pick up the exact same strip for this postcard? That was remarkable. Yeah, this much you have to cut off. It's about two millimeters. But yeah, so if you don't like cutting cards, look away. <laughs> But I was just like, it would look so good in a four pocket page like these and it would save so much space and I wanted them in my binder because they were just sitting in the corner of my room and I don't own the photo book anymore. I sold on the photo book because I don't collect stuff like that. But yeah, this is the amount that you have to cut off. And I did do it for all of them. So this is all the little bits and pieces. Uh, I used like one of those actual paper cutters to make it really, really straight and really accurate. So yeah, I would recommend getting one of those. You can buy them really, really cheap on, uh, well, I got one from Daiso, that Japanese store that I'm obsessed with. So yeah, it was 
like a five dollar paper cutter i also make my fillers with it like these the, the white fillers it's really really quick and easy to do but yeah i would recommend getting one of them if you do decide to trim your postcard by two millimeters <laughs> The enjoyment of having them put in four pocket pages it was a risk i was willing to take and these are also like the front of the of the postcard sets because i thought that it would be cool to have it as like a start off to go into this so yeah but let's put them away they are going in unsleeved because i wanted to cut off the least amount that i could and that meant that they are quite tight in these pockets so there is no room no room for a, for a sleeve I seem to be really jumping over my words today I'm sorry oh. I didn't order the new the new book oh, there's the start of page cool and then when you flip it over it's starting to come together again in the old version and I'm gonna do it. I probably will stick to that way that I set them out and not do that version. I don't know yet. What was I saying? Oh, I didn't order the new version. I just cost the shipping again. So I was planning on just getting uh, JK's postcard sets from Neokyo. <laughs> Makari now, I should stop saying Neokyo because I'm not sure whether I'll be using Neokyo if they don't use Makari. It's so weird, I'm guessing that Bayi finally cracked down on them and was like, guys, we are official partners, you can't be doing that. <laughs> Neokyo was so good though. I mean, they, they were slow, but they were probably the cheapest option. And I liked how they, I just liked their setup. It was just so good. Uh, yeah, so I planned on getting just JK's uh, postcards, but after setting this up, I know, I know I'm going to have to get OT7 because the new postcards are just so beautiful and they look like they're groomsmen. <laughs> so I'm kind of just hoping that the postcards will come up on Yokio. Oh, Makari, Makari. <laughs> Wow. I'm watching one set currently, but I don't know whether or not they're going to drop down in price. Also, I still don't know what proxy I'm going to use. I mean, I had a look around on Frill, which Neokyo still offers like buying from Frill, but eh. I got confused and then I still don't know how to like it has the option of filtering out like things that are sold but every time I click on something I'm like oh my gosh that's a really good price it's sold and I'm like what I filtered out the sold stuff so I don't know <laughs> so there is uh, that set which is absolutely stunning oh wow and then we're going into this one I wonder if they'll do the exact same set list for PTD in Las Vegas. I'm guessing they will. I'm guessing they will. But I'm just dying to see their Map of the Soft 7 uh, solos again. Dying to see them like live in front of everyone. And everyone can just scream at JK. <laughs> My time, JK! Bring it back, bring it back. Whoa, this one's not going in. Sorry. And then those ones are on the back, so these ones are all the horizontal ones. And they actually really, really suit the colour scheme, those four together. So yeah, let's do a, a little flip through of those pages. So there's the front. Yeah, I'm a little bit obsessed with it. I'm almost thinking of just making a binder that is all postcards because they all just sit so nicely on top of each other. 
That would be really cool. Okay, miscellaneous. And I also need to fix up these, these cards down here. They're so random in there. I had another topic I wanted to speak about, but now I can't remember. Oh, the permission to dance uh, in theatres. How exciting. We get to see it in theatres. I have bought my tickets to it. Uh, this is, this is, uh, oh, there's still glare. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Go on, double stack up. It's still a little bit of glare, but it's okay. Uh, this is where I'm sitting in my cinema. And I'm currently bidding on a JK777, 777, 777 butter card. And it turns out that the seller is going to the exact same session as me. So I'm like, it's fate. You can just hand it to me. <laughs> but it, I think it's going to go up too high. So I hope it doesn't, please. It's currently sitting on, well, like 370 Australian dollars. <laughs> oh, we're onto the next pile of PCs. I need to go back. This idea is purely, purely stolen from Blooming Night. Thank you so much for drawing everyone's attention to the fact that this, this works and it is so, so cool. Oh, Cause I was actually not gonna put these PCs in my binder at all until I saw your setup and I freaked out. It's such a good idea. But how much was everybody's tickets to go see PTD in cinemas? If it is going to a cinema near you, I know that it's not going to like a lot of places. Like I know that it's not going to India and I know that so many people in India would want to see it. Like don't they have a massive fan base in India? That just sucks. So, I don't know. There must be a reason. Uh, because I only put six members in this binder, I can also do this little setup, which I'm very proud of. I'm very proud of this setup. So I did a little, a little slice down this side of the sleeve and I put a sleeve on the end of this to protect it. And I'm putting the ticket down there. So yeah, that's, that's uh, my setup for this. Jimmy's a little wonky. Come on, Jimmy. Um, my tickets to see it in cinemas was 40 Australian dollars. I know that McKinley, Jimmy, are you still wonky? <laughs> uh, I think McKinley told me hers was 40 US dollars. So yeah, obsessed with that setup. I think it looks so good. And I'm gonna change this up. So I'm going to put these at the top. But yeah, I'm really excited for the concert. Are people gonna take their army bombs? I mean, I still don't know whether or not mine's official. I don't think it is. I should connect it to like a MV and see whether or not it does stuff. I'll update you here whether or not it does stuff. But I think it's unofficial and I'm probably not gonna be able to purchase one before the concert. I mean, will it even connect to the live stream? I don't know. I made fillers out of my actual uh, D-Day calendar because it was literally just an empty box sitting on my shelf. This is my D-Day calendar now. It now holds my magazines. I'm very proud of it. Uh, but yeah, I cut up the little doors on it. And oh, I'll show you how I made it. So it's literally just the two, the two strips and it's just stuck together with double-sided tape in these sleeves. Oh, the sleeves that I use now are these. Uh, they bought from EB Games in Australia. They're eight Australian dollars, so much cheaper than what I was buying, but they're really, really nice. There they are. They're thicker than the Ultra Pro ones. There they are. Oh, I'm a little bit hot. Yeah, so that's what I'm now using. And I, so far, I've loved them. Just even purely because of the price. <laughs> it's really hot. Um, even purely because of the, the price is a lot less than the Ultra Pro ones. So yeah. If you were going to do this, I would also recommend, like you could even just cut up the army rooms that the boys made in the pack because they don't really have much use and I wish that I did just cut up the army rooms because they make these cool like that's that's the doors to the to the thing and this is the army room so yeah you know the one that you had to like you could create your own like I cut up gins for this so yeah it, it looks pretty cool just using those rooms so if you didn't want to cut up the actual d-day calendar you could do that <laughs> and then I'm going to actually uh, shake this up 
and put these ones down the bottom. Oh, amazing J-Hope card. I like how everyone that did J-Hope's birthday kind of tag always had this card in one of their favorites. That's so good though, isn't it? It's like one of the cheapest PCs you can literally get in collecting probably of BTS. And it's one of the best PCs. Okay, so yeah, there's that one, which I thought looked better being at the top. So yeah, there we go. And there's the back of it. So yeah, that's, that's the DJ calendar stuff kind of updated and finally in. And I like it so much better. Uh, oh, and I have these ones. Sorry if you can hear the bird. Uh, so these ones are gonna go in this way. The birds are being kind of loud. They're having fun in the rain. I mean, they, they've got a shelter, but and there's part of their, their little aviary that is out in the rain so they can splash around and get cool. So yeah, there's those ones. And I faced them, I put them in an order that I thought was kind of cute, like they're pointing at themselves and listening to themselves whispering. <laughs> yeah. And then on the back, it's this. I mean, this one's facing the wrong way, which is very annoying. Anyway. Oh, I was going to put in a title page for this. So I'm creating a new uh, section to my binder, which is now called seasonal. Yes. And the JK binder also has a seasonal section now. Is that how you spell seasonal? Seasonal. Yeah. Uh, so that it makes sense if I put Dalmajan here and Christmas stuff here because Festa, Festa is the seasonal thing, yeah? So I committed a clown move. I'm now collecting OT7 for Dalmajan because they are just so stunning and um, what's it called? Weverse did a random restock of them so I bought another four packs but they have been shipping soon for over a month. So I have started to purchase a couple of PCs if I see them for less than five Australian dollars. So for $4, uh, I got some for $2 the today. Oh, I've still got to pay for them. I've still got to pay for them. Uh, yeah, I've got to pay for them. Um, what am I doing? Uh, eight, nine, 10, 11. Number 12. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna do OT7 for these. Uh, this is a Yugi. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, he's got to go that way. The reason why I also decided to start doing these OT7 is J Hope set. I'm obsessed with it. Uh, what was that? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, J Hope's set is just. So, so nice with this pattern of blonde hair. Oh, 22, 23, 24, uh, 25, 26, 27, 28. Still not sure whether or not this one is official. A couple of people have spoken to me about it because they didn't know either. It's from Coco Dive. Uh, because the back is like a different hue, you can't really see it on camera, but it's like a different, it's a different color. But we're now thinking that it's just another press. So maybe Coco Divers giving out the PCs, official PCs as their pre-order benefit. That was for Seasons Greetings. So I'm going to treat it as official because like the picture quality is really up there. I don't know. It's just like the hue that's throwing me off, but it could be a different press release. So let's just treat it as official. It's only this one. If I eventually find it again, it'll be okay. Uh, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Is this one really down here? It can't be, it can't be there. How have I stuffed this up? I'll get back to you. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Okay, I just can't count. 33. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, which is going to be on the back of this. I'm sharing sleeves because save your sleeves. That one of Jimin is so beautiful. Okay. 
And then 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 41, <laughs> 42. And then I know that this one's last. And that, that one is gonna just end me. What number is it? Tay 47. He is very difficult, isn't he? And the second, one of the Yoongi selfies is very difficult. So please pray for me in getting good pulls from those four uh, packs that I have coming. But I think they might be a fair amount of time off because there seems to be a suspension with the post services going to the area that um, the k that I use is in. So that's why they're not sending there. As well as the JK Mood Lamp. It also is stuck with shipping soon. I was like, what was the chance of getting suspended posts at that time? Something must be happening. I don't know what's happening. I hope they're being paid well and being treated well. Because postal services have had it so rough over, over this time. COVID, COVID time. So putting in fillers. I should stamp a couple of these. I think I have seven, seven cards coming. I wish this was on my uh, Instagram. If anyone want, if anyone has like a couple of these cards spare and wants to help me. <laughs> I mean, we're still waiting for comeback, comeback news. So needed something to occupy my mind. And I mean, this is, this is pretty inexpensive to complete, which is good. Except for that tag card, probably, but I really don't want to purchase him. Okay. Okay. Long way to go. Long way to go. The Nam tune is on the way though. Oh yeah. Whiting. I've only got 15 minutes. Where did that time go? Oh my gosh. My mum's gone to the shops as I'm doing this. And so I changed these up. So I put these in uh, long two pockets because I really wanted to put this in my binder. Oh, my feet are hurting from crouching down low. Yes. And it fits so perfect. Look at that. Yes. Then we have little wishes cards. Also saw someone do this setup. I'm sorry, I can't remember who did this setup. But they did it uh, two double sided instead of using two pages. So they put in this set. Oh, well, sorry about the glare on Jen. And then the group up here. I don't want the group down here because I might photocopy JK's again. Oh no, 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 I'm not going to because I'm doing this setup. <laughs> and then they turn these around and they put them in this way. So that becomes a filler. It's facing the wrong way, but oh well. Yam Jam. Ah, sorry. I hit you. funny how different people have like different tastes like I was watching someone else's video the other day and they said this is their favorite like concept that BTS has ever done or I was like I don't really like it it's so strange how like different yeah like it doesn't really do anything for me but I love that someone else like loves it that much it's just like pretty cool pretty cool so, yeah that's that set in it is actually it's really nice <laughs> it's really nice in there though yeah okay uh, I'm hoping that they come out with a new postcard for the film. I hope it's purplish colour. I have a feeling that it's going to be orangish colour. Because uh, they definitely have something coming out in Japan. One of my friends, uh, Vanessa. Veronica? No, Vanessa. So many people have names starting with V in this community. Um, yeah, she told me that there is definitely going to be something Japanese coming out. So I hope I can fill this spot. Although this is, this is her... 
uh, Vanessa's product. So it's gonna be replacing her product, but yeah, I'm gonna be able to put in the new, the new ticket. So yeah, I could put it in the back. This was, this was Japanese, so I hope it's not this size, but they release, I want a postcard. I think that these were Korean though, these postcards. I can't remember. Uh, next up is soup. Soup, soup, soup. I'm so sad. See, I wanted to do this setup with the new postcards, but they're so thick and so big. So I'm not gonna put them in. I'm gonna leave them in the book. And I don't know whether or not, oh, there's dirt on that. Get off dirt. And I don't know whether or not I'm going to sell off them. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just so upset that I can't do this spread again because I love these spreads now. But I put in the shiny paper for these. Da -da -da -da. And I put in these ones. What sucks is that the shiny paper has changed. Can you tell? Yeah, you can. See how it's, it's changed color. Maybe it's just that batch, but even the stars are different, yeah? They're like stronger stars, so... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they changed the paper. It's also from Daiso, so... I did send one of my subscribers, uh, asked me to get some for her, so I sent her some. I hope she gets it soon. But if anyone else wants some, let me know. I mean, like, I can just send it uh, cut in half in a top loader and untracked, in an untracked mail to you. But I did go to Daiso the other day and they don't have it. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. So why is it every time that I find something that I love, like they get rid of it? Are you like, are you kidding me? I love this paper. I wonder if I can show you. It, I've shown it before, it's foil paper. See how it's really flimsy and it's so thin. And it just slides in. But yeah, I currently can't get the paper. I'm like, I should have stopped up on it because I have no more green paper. Ah, it just sucks, it sucks. <laughs> First, they take away my, my penny sleeves. Now they're taking away my paper and I can't currently buy anti jack pockets because the shipping is so expensive. So yeah, that, that, that's those in. It's such an odd set. <laughs> and then they also have these cards. J-Hopes. I wish that I'd included this in J-Hopes video. He's such an icon. Oh my gosh. That video really gave me a new appreciation for J-Hope cards. Oh my gosh. He's just so adorable. Uh, and then they gave us... I was thinking about repurchasing JK's cards for this as well because they're not too expensive. But for now, I'm going to put the group one in here. And then this is what the group card came in. I'm gonna put that in as a filler. And then it had been my thought to use the package that these came in as a filler. So that would be, because I'm not gonna put them back in, that would be this and it would go down there. And then I was thinking about cutting this up and putting it like in there. I mean, like you wouldn't really see it. The first season, their box doesn't have written, like anything written on it. It's literally just like a green line going around it. So there was no point trying to do something with that box. But then I realized that I still don't have a spot to put this, like anywhere. So I think I'll still cut this up, maybe off camera. But I'm just gonna put this here for now because I literally don't have any other spot to put it. But it, it really doesn't match it. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do it. But there's no, they don't have any other, like, like, traveling merch, do they, for Bon Voyage? That would look so much better, apart from the fact that it's the wrong way. Maybe I can photocopy that. I'm gonna photocopy that. <laughs> Promotional. I would love to get the rest of these and do a two page spread. I don't really know how I ended up with only those members. I don't know. Need a filler. And then uh, the last thing that I'm going to put in, which like, thank goodness, we've got six minutes before people come home. Last thing I'm going to put in is 
the fan made cards that McKinley made because they're so beautiful. Yes. And because I didn't buy OT7 for the magazines, because wow, that would just be, that would be too many magazines. They're really thick. These are just such a nice way to commemorate, commemorate the magazines and remember them by. They're unofficial, but they're so beautiful. This J-Hope one again, if that was a legit PC, it would probably be my favorite of all time. Same with that Jimin, wow. Okay, and then two fillers will be these. So I'm gonna put this one down here because it was probably the second most popular cover of the Vogue shoot. And I'm thinking this one was the most popular. So yeah, that's gonna be the, ow, my, my ankle cracked. <laughs> uh, so here is that page. So that is it for this uh, update. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video. Uh, please uh, like, comment, subscribe. Definitely comment. I've asked you a lot of questions in this video, <laughs> or at least just like, like the, the comments that I put of one and two. And I'll see you in another video. I'm going to do another group, other group binder update next. I uh, got my last ever Neo Kyo package coming. It's got one more day of storage, but I'm hoping the last couple of things will come in. I'll probably have to purchase a little bit more storage, uh, but it currently has, I think, 29 items in it. So I'll be opening that uh, maybe in about two weeks time. Oh, I was going to maybe do a shop with me very soon as well, maybe using a different proxy site. Uh, see how that will go because I got paid today. Yeah. So my, my little BTS fund is, Got a little stock up on it. Obviously, I'm not going to be going wild because comeback may be coming, uh, but I'm not going to Las Vegas. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that might be in the works as well. So, I'll see you in another video. Goodbye. Have a wonderful day.